I'm doing a ration then. What are we doing today? I've got my camera person here, the camera lady. She's going to explain what we're doing today. We are putting bags in these Tommy Tippy bins. So we've got these Tommy Tippy cartridges, guys. Yeah, they're used for disposing nappies. It's for the what's the mod, making model of the nappy stations? Syngenic nappy bins, the one where you twist. If you buy them individually, they come in packs of three. They're very expensive. But today, I'm going to show you how to save money because babies go through a lot of nappies. Yes? Yes. A lot is a, under exaggeration. They go through tons of nappies. So what you can do is you can order these plastic rolls, that essentially bags, that you can use to fill these Tommy Tippy Sangenic bin cartridges. Okay? It comes in a pack. So they usually come with one of these cardboard cylinders. There, one of those cardboard cylinders. And they'll come with a pack of rolls. Now you can get different ones. You can get unscented. Now this one feels a little bit rough, but the original Tommy Tippy ones are very soft and they're very good at concealing odor, so bad stinky smell, okay? Now these ones, our little girl has just achieved 15 months. Now the time when her poo is becoming stinky, okay? These ones are not handling it. Up until 15 months, they've been fine. Because baby poo originally, when they're first born, aren't really that stinky. But now the poo's becoming solid and they're becoming stinky. So now I brought these. They've got an apple scent. Now today I'm going to show you how to fill one of these up briefly then quickly. So these cartridges, they come with these lips. Actually, you can just pull them off. First thing, pull them off. Okay, they're quite easy to put back in. They've got these little clips on the side. They're very, very easy to put back in. See, very easy, that's the thing. So you just pull it apart, okay? Then you get one of your cylinders. I've got two here because obviously I've got two different brands. You put it inside like that, and then you get whatever bag you have. So now this one's finishing, so I'm hoping that I've got enough to fill this up. Usually I sort of like pull it like that 10 times to get enough length. I don't know exactly how much there is, but uh, I won't waste it. I'll use this length just to show and demonstrate. So they're basically like sleeves. I use a little trick. If you've got dry hands, this is very difficult to do because you won't get the grip with dry hands. So I get a wet wipe. Or you can just get a tissue and you wet it and you just wet your thumbs. Find the end. It's just like a plastic sleeve. Open it up because it opens up. Yeah, feed it over the top of this, okay? Feed it over the top, come close the camera lady. And you can see, and then what I do, I just wet my thumbs and fingers like this, and I just grab grip it on each side, and I just feed it through. Keep feeding it through. But obviously, you'll have to like sort of practice uh, as to how much to put in, because if you overload it, you won't be able to pull the bags out from here and they're going to be quite tough to push down so get the right amount like I said I normally pull it for 10 lengths like that and uh, just feed it through so this one there is quickly done so that's on now and you push it all the way to the bottom all the way to the bottom and you pull it out okay all done let's so hold it in place grab its lid now you can't put it in make sure it's the right way so usually the lips are basically pointing upwards can you see not this way this way. I don't think it'll fit in if you put it that way. Let's try it. So if you put it that way, it doesn't actually click into place. So put it back in. It'll only click in one way. So you put it in, click it, okay? That's that. That's not a very full one, but I just showed, I just used it for demonstration purposes. They come out easily. You just pull them out like that. Grip it like that. Push it inside out. It's done. What I do is I just tie the knot and tie the knot, done. And this is where you're gonna hook it onto under the bin lid. So you're gonna pop it into place, use this knot as an anchor to anchor it underneath. And that's it. That's gonna save you a lot of money, guys. And also, 
You all have a stinky room. <laughs> 